Just before 2 o'clock this morning, a fire erupted inside Marta's snack shop on La Croix Boulevard in Belize City. Marta Ramirez has been operating her snack shop in the Lake Independence area for over 15 years, providing tasty foods at rock bottom prices to those in need as well as residents in the area. The family of eight was awoken by the crackling sound of the fire. Last night I made a sleep and I'm like around one, two when I hear my father made a scream. And he tell me that the, the shop, the bond, the fast food shop. Um, enough people know the fast food shop because everybody from around this area come around, right? Um, when I come out, it made done the pan fully, full flame. Fire made it come out through all through the windows, through from the top of the ceiling as well. So um, nothing was, I think somebody would have out of that easily, right? Mm -hmm. And um, so we couldn't do nothing about it. Uh, it just made, made up on flavors. But it would appear that the fire was deliberately set by thieves who broke into the fast food shop and stole containers with food products. Investigators have since been able to nab at least one of the suspects who News 5 understands is from the area. The investigators, they may investigate around the area and they find out that the luck may boss. And uh, my ma as well, she usually have one leak container where she um, left some of her stuff like the chips and maybe leak ramens and stuff for the people, you know. And that may got missing because usually, you know, the fire leak plastic would have burned down and then you would have seen the leak color because the crates are the cooks. They melt and they're right there, you could see the color, the color red. So um, what our neighbor said that they say, well, some people, they, you know, they say like three people, you know, on a bicycle, they carry one of the um, rubber made um, thing. Uh -huh. And we explain that to the police and they investigate and well, they call my mother's man and they said they have some suspects already. The wooden structure and its contents were valued at about $12,000 and everything was destroyed. According to Rolando Ramirez, his parents are looking at rebuilding as soon as possible because the shop is the bread and butter for the household. 10 to 15 years already and this shop uh, maintains a lot of family as well because uh, my mom, she have like over six, seven kids where she have to um, maintain and all the income come directly from the shop. Now, um, it, and it could have been worse too because it's dangerous to close to other houses and there were gas tanks in there. Oh yes, um, actually we have two gas tanks. We have a big one and we have a small one. But the good part about it is that my sister, she every night before she goes to sleep, she locked the um, gas tanks and the firefighters said that's a really good thing as well because if the gas tank may end up, they explode, say my be my car's one whole commotion and some of the houses as well may get affected as well. Dwayne Moody for News 5.